Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I hope everybody is having a wonderful holiday season and today I'm back with another cake recipe that's going to be perfect for any holiday gathering. I'll be making my white chocolate red velvet crepe cake. Now crepe cakes are just so elegant and beautiful yet they're actually super easy to make. Today I'm going to start with my red velvet crepes. We're going to make those with chocolate liqueur, some red food coloring and we're going to stack the crepes with a really light and fluffy white chocolate cream cheese whipped cream frosting and every bite of this cake is so delicious you guys are going to love it and I learned the secret to making a perfectly smooth lump free crepe batter is to use a blender just toss all your ingredients in there and you're all set to go and if you don't have a blender you can always use a mixing bowl a hand whisk or an electric mixer now into my blender I'm going to add six large eggs and I brought these up to room temperature pour in two and three-fourths cup of whole milk Add one third cup of melted butter. Today I'll be adding a quarter cup of chocolate liqueur. You can also add a quarter cup of regular sugar and then two tablespoons of cocoa powder. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just a pinch of salt. And I'm going to spoon in two and a half cups of all purpose flour and then blend this all together for a few minutes. And to make my crepe batter a little bit more chocolatey, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of cocoa powder and then my red food coloring. My crepe batter is ready and you'll want to add enough red food coloring to make the batter a bright red color. I also have my crepe pan preheating over medium high heat and for each crepe I'm going to add about a quarter cup of batter, pour it into the center and then tilt that pan around just like that and it's going to cook for about 30 seconds to a minute on this first side and the uh, edges will be nicely set, there will be little bubbles popping their surface in the center then we'll flip it over, cook it on the other side for about 30 seconds and then onto a wire rack to cool completely. While my crepes are cooling, I'm going to get started on that white chocolate and cream cheese whipped cream frosting. So into my mixer bowl, I'm going to add in three cups of chilled heavy cream. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And about one cup of confectioner's sugar. And then mix this all together on medium high speed for about three to four minutes until you get stiff peaks and a fluffy whipped cream. In a separate mixing bowl, I've softened eight ounces of cream cheese and to that I'm going to add half a cup of softened unsalted butter. And then you use my hand mixer to cream these two together for a few minutes until that mixture is smooth. Next, add in one cup of melted white chocolate chips and these are going to add so much great flavor. And then use a hand mixer again to cream this for about three to four minutes until the mixture is smooth and lump free. and then transfer this white chocolate cream cheese butter mixture into the whipped cream and give it a whisk for about 30 seconds on high speed until you get stiff peaks and a fluffy whipped cream frosting. My crepes are cooled, my frosting is ready, and this frosting is just so fluffy, you can just eat it by the spoonful. Now let's assemble this cake. Now my secret to keeping a really nice and even a crepe cake is making sure those first few layers, about four or five of them, are as even as you could possibly get them. So just stack your first crepe on top. We're going to add a generous amount of this uh, fluffy cream frosting between each layer. Grab a flat spatula and then just spread it evenly to the edges. And I'm going to drizzle the top with a little bit of melted white chocolate. And 
and I transferred my remaining frosting into a pastry bag today. I'm using tip number 847. I'm going to pipe little dollops on top of the cake. And now let's cut into this gorgeous cake to see what it looks like on the inside. Now I recommend refrigerating the cake for about an hour or two before cutting into it so that it holds up its shape nicely. And check that out. Isn't that one gorgeous crepe cake? Can't wait to dig in and enjoy this. This red velvet crepe cake has to be the prettiest crepe cake out there. I absolutely love the combination of those bright red crepes complemented with that white whipped cream frosting and those berries on top really finish this off, making it a true masterpiece. Time to dig in and enjoy these. And look at those layers. I am just loving it. Mmm. Not only is this cake stunning, but it is absolutely incredibly delicious. I love the combination of that light and fluffy whipped cream frosting. That frosting is just to die for, but then you combine it with those red velvet uh, crepes. They have a little hint of that chocolate in them. It is just perfection. I also like that this cake isn't too sweet, so I add a little bit of those berries on top to add a little more berry flavor. It's so good. Now, if you want it to be a little sweeter, feel free to add a little bit more sugar into that cream, but I think it's perfect just the way it is. For the full recipe, just head down into my video description box. I've left a link there that'll take you over to my blog. You'll find the full recipe on there, and then you can print it off, save it for yourself, and of course, share it with all your family and friends. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this gorgeous, stunning crepe cake at home.